Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Podcaster Juice. How professional of me sipping coffee right as I start the video. <laughs> Today we are doing a quick rundown, not a full review, of the PreSonus Revelator USB microphone. The main goal of this is to go through all of the presets, look briefly at the software. First thing I notice, even with the gate on, listen to how much that picks up. I have it on the desktop stand. That is an issue. I would get it off of the desktop stand. Next thing I want to demonstrate is something I learned while testing this. Currently, I have my gain set pretty appropriately. It's set at 20 dB, so I'm not clipping. Let me go ahead and just crank this up. Now it is at 100%. You would expect it to be much more clippy and much more distorted, but you can hear that it is limited. You can hear the, the infinity uh, ratio of the limiter. So it's pretty cool that they have that there. I apologize for how loud that got. I will attenuate that in post so you don't hear, I don't blow out your eardrums. So they have some kind of digital limiter there, which is nice, a nice feature to have. Let's go ahead and walk through the effects. I just engaged the high pass filter. This is 40 hertz. We can go up to 80 hertz. I think that sounds fine as well. Maybe a bit too aggressive for my liking. And then we have 160 hertz. All in all, way too aggressive. I do not like how loud that or how high into my vocal frequencies that gets. I think that it takes out too much low end. If I was using this, I would stick around 40 hertz. Next, let's engage the gate. And if we look directly next to the actual meter, we can see the gain reduction showing up. And that seems pretty effective because our noise floor is now below negative 50 dB. Let's go to moderate. Still, I would say around negative 60 dB. Is it cutting off the starts and stops of my spoken word? That's something that I always have an issue with with gates. It's, it's very apparent when they open and close because it will affect the, the start and stops of your words. Let's go to high. Our noise floor is remaining pretty consistent around negative 60, maybe negative 70 dB here. So it doesn't appear to be affecting that, but does the high affect the starts and stops of my words. I, I was speaking weirdly right there. That's not <laughs> as though I need to explain that that is not how I normally speak. I would probably stick with low because I don't, you can hear it sound a bit more natural as soon as I switch to low. I'll turn that off. Let's go back to, let's turn on the compressor. This is the moderate compressor, moderate compressor sounds a lot more than moderate to me. This is the low compressor. What kind of, you can see we're barely kissing the thing. It is maybe one dB of gain reduction. I'm sure if I cranked my gain up, we, we would be getting a little bit more. If we go to moderate, we're getting maybe two. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Two, maybe a little bit more. Assuming that the gain reduction is in scale to this scale, if that makes sense. If the gain reduction meter is tied to this scale for the proper meter. Let's go to the high compressor. Hello. Hey. Testing. Testing. You can really hear when I get a bit more aggressive with how I'm speaking, you can hear the compressor really doing a, a lot of work. And I think it's great that they include a de-esser. Let's go ahead and whistle some S's. S -s 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 Interesting. As soon as I engage the compressor, at least in the monitoring, 
the level gets so much louder. <laughs> it gets so loud. The the one that isn't too bad is the moderate. Moderate just boosts it ever so slightly and levels it out. That's probably where I would keep it. Next, let's look at the EQ. And for this, I want to actually do something. I will look at this part of the plugin a little bit later, but I want to go ahead and look at the actual EQ that they're doing. So you can see that we have a, a low shelf below 100 hertz. We have another boost between 200 and 300. We have a cut at, a, at about 1,200 hertz and then a high shelf above 4 kilohertz. So that is the voice setting, the vocal setting. I guess I'm not able to... Let's go ahead and do vintage. Hello, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so it's actually using different EQ plugins, different EQ models to do this. And this doesn't necessarily, at least in my headphones, it doesn't make it sound like a 1920s radio. It's It just sounds a bit more vintage-y. I hear a lot more mids on the vintage setting, if that's what you're looking for. So that's vintage. Mid boost, I hate this one. You can see exactly why. <laughs> Look at all the mids, please. Over 6 dB mid boost. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Make it go away. Sip of coffee time. I know it's Starbucks. Oh, look at him. Look at the look at the city dweller with his fancy coffee. Get off my case. It's an Americano. Oh, he's drinking Italian. Italian drinks now? Italian drinks? What is an Americano? Well, it's American. Is it? I don't know where the Americano comes from. It's espresso that's watered down. It's because that's the only drink at Starbucks that doesn't taste overly burnt. Starbucks, fix your roasting. <laughs> as, as, oh, as though they need my assistance, they're one of the largest companies ever. The largest and most successful coffee companies. As though they need my dumb person self. I, I'm trying not to swear. My dumb self telling them how to properly run their business. Anyway, EQ. We turned on the bass boost. Look at this. Look at this. We got a Poltec emulation. And we have a lot of bass boosting, a lot of bass boosting, bass, 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 bass boosting. I do not like it. What, what else do we have? Band pass. This sounds wonderful. We have a band pass at around 1.8K. Sounds wonderful. No lows, no highs. And for the female voice, what do they do here? Okay, we do not have the, the low shelf below 100 hertz. We have the high pass still at 40 hertz, it looks like. Then we have a boost at around 320 hertz. Same cut at 1 kilohertz, 1.2 kilohertz. I'm wondering if that has something to do with the microphone itself. If there is some kind of resonance at 1.2 kilohertz that they want to pull out for, for singing. Something interesting. And then you got the same high shelf at four kilohertz. Okay, that's the EQ. I would just stick with a vocal, a simple, straightforward. Next, let us play with the limiter. Limiter. Hello. Hey, hey. We're not even, we're not even touching this thing. Hello. <laughs> Y'all want to get into the red? <laughs> All right. It takes a lot of air right onto the capsule. You got to be careful with that. Okay, this is limiter on low. Okay, this is limiter on moderate. Limiter on moderate. And hello, this is limiter on high. Limiter on high. Limiter on low. Limiter on moderate. Limiter on high. Why do I get more clipping when the limiter is set on high? This makes no sense. So here is the limiter settings right here. With the limiter set to low, what do we have? Limiter set, okay. So the limiter is just doing a lot less work. It's, it's capping at zero dB for limiter at low. Limiter at moderate, what do we have? Negative one and a half, okay. 
Yeah, it depends on what you're doing. I th- I think high would probably be the best, leaving it there. Negative 3 dB is a good output level. I don't think anybody's going to really complain, oh, why are you outputting at negative 3 dB and not 0 dB? Nobody's going to complain about that. Let's get to the fun stuff now. No- another coffee break. Okay. Engage. Engage. This is the distortion setting. What a shocker. It's a distortion. If you want distortion, there you go. Does not change the pitch. Does not do anything to your voice. It just distorts it. Then, 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 ooh, ooh, we have have Slapback. Do you, Do know, you know what? 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 I got to turn, turn that off for a second. second. It's a slapback echo. Do you know what the composer, I can't remember the composer's name, but for Friday the 13th, it's not ch 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 It's k k k ma 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 Because he took the, the starts of the words kill and mommy and k ma and then put on the k k ma Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little fun story there. 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 Next. Next. Pitch Pitch down. down. Hello. This is the pitch pitch down. down. We're going going down down seven semitones. Okay. Okay. This This is what I sound sound like normally. normally. Here it is 100% and down 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 to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we... If we mix it, there we go. It's very difficult to hear what I'm saying. If I crank it up here, can you still understand me? It seems to really screw with stuff. I don't think it sounds very good. Next up. Reflections. Okay. There's the reflections. It is a delay, but it also sounds, hello, hello, hello. Maybe it's not a reverb, but the, the, the delay time is so short that it creates this very strange, reverby, almost kind of sound. I don't like that. It does not do anything to really mask your voice. VOG. I'm guessing this is going to be voice of God. Hello, this is God speaking. And I don't mean to be blasphemous, I apologize. It's called the voice of God. Of course, I need to emulate God. I do not actually believe I'm God. Nobody be offended. And being that I am God, you have to listen to me. (laughs) Hello, this is the voice of God speaking. Be kind to each other. There you go. Bots. Okay, let's get that off. I do apologize if anybody was offended. Please don't be. I'm just making a joke. Now we have the bots setting. Let's engage that. Bots. Hello. Hello. The bots. Bots. I am I am a robot. I am a robot. I love a robot things. Please feed me batteries. Batteries does not compute. I just, I heard. (laughs) I heard. (laughs) It sounded like Mario jumping there for a second. I heard ding, ding. And through that filter, it sounded like Mario was jumping. I don't know what that was. Really cool. Does not do a good job at masking your voice, but does have an interesting effect. Let's go, go to, to echo. 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 What a shocker. Shock. Shock. It, it, it is, is, is an, an, an echo. 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 <laughs> next. 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 We have a ring mod. What I hear with this is this sounds like Princess Leia when she's in the bounty hunter suit in Return of the Jedi and goes to Jabba's palace, right, to get Han Solo. 
个叫 Han Solo Solo I come for you. Okay, that's the. <laughs> this is why I prepare. Let me turn this off. This is why I prepare for my main channel videos because what <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I doing? Anyway, this is the ring modulator. I think this does a tolerable job at masking your voice. The if you couldn't understand that, I think that does a tolerable job at masking your voice, but at the same time, I don't think anybody could listen to that for long periods of time. I don't think anybody could. That would be maddening to listen to. If you're buying this microphone to mask your voice for privacy reasons and phone calls and podcasts, it may accomplish that, but is it going to is it going to provide a final product that anybody is going to listen to? Probably not. Let's jump to the last thing that we have, the last effect, and it is V-code. V-code. Hello. Well, this vocoder. Hello. It's a vocoder. I don't think that's very, very helpful for a spoken word, at least. Hello. Yeah, I don't like that effect. Okay. What other effect do we have? Let us, I already showed you pretty much everything that you can do in the, in the fat channel. This is the fine tuning. You have a, an infinitely variable high pass filter. PreSonus, thank you. Thank you so much. Infinitely variable. And when I say infinite, infinitely variable, I mean from 20 hertz up to 1,000 hertz. And you can pick anything in between. Huge ups and props on that. Good on you. Thank you for doing that. Then you can adjust the thresholds of your gate. You can do all of this stuff just wonderful. I love that you are able to actually fine-tune all of this stuff. Let's look at the compressor. Compressor, 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 compressor. We have tube, FET, and standard. This is, this is modeling the 1176. What's the tube? There we go. We got ourselves an LA 2 a Get out of town. We are doing it. Okay. This is what I would do. We should turn it on first. Okay. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Also, the LA 2 a that's not a tube compressor, is it? The LA 2 as maybe it's tube, but it's, a, it's an optical compressor, right? Am I losing my mind? Have I gone crazy? This is what I would use. LA-2A all the way, all day. Okay, very cool. I love that they give you that functionality. As I already mentioned, I love the... I love the fact that they have the EQ that you can actually fine-tune here. It is... It's really a great feature to be able to... Okay, I want a lot more right here. Look at that. I changed it in real time and got very great. I can move this anywhere I want. Oh, I really love when I boost it by 12 decibels, by 12 dB at six, 700 hertz. That's, that's the sound that I look for. It's brilliant that you're able to do that. Limiter, very straightforward, very simple. And then the voice, yeah, if you want any of that stuff, fun. This is probably how I would run it. I would do the high pass at 40, gate it low, compressor, I would jump in, do LA-2A because I'm an LA-2A fanboy. Good on ya, Universal Audio, for making such an amazing optical compressor. EQ, I, I'll just switch to the voice, the vocal. I like that just fine. Here it is without it. Sounds perfectly tolerable. I do think they did a nice job with the vocal EQ. Limiter at high, so we're capping out at negative 3 dB, and I would leave the... <laughs> if I was doing any kind of effects, I would probably go with the ring mod just for a, a laugh, just for a joke. And the last thing that you have is your reverb. 
You have a couple of presets, but you can do a whole bunch here. You have small, medium, and large. Something that I want to point out, if you are trying to use reverb to screw with somebody, make sure that you are adjusting the reverb channel and everything on your main output as well. The way that I found best to do this is click on your main mix and then click link. This will link the main mix to your monitor mix, your headphone mix. So when I switch back to the headphone channel, as we adjust this, let's go ahead and set it to negative 47.5. If we jump over to main, this should be negative 47.5. Let's go back to headphones. Let's turn this all the way down, unmute. And as we talk, you should start to hear me in a terrible sounding room. What a shocker. Some people are gonna say, oh, but Bandrew, we could just listen to you record at any time. You already record in a terrible sounding room. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. But then, if you really want to screw with people, switch it to large. Hey Jim, Sally, I'm really sorry. I The only place that I had available in my home was the basketball court. How, do I, how did I get a basketball court? Why are you asking? Don't you know? Don't you know who I... Bill! No, sweep behind the basketball hoop. No, that's where I beat the dude up. There's blood all over the place. What are you talking about? And you can mess. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nobody's going to think this is funny. Nobody is going to find this humorous except for me. And me. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> I'm officially an idiot. I am officially a complete and utter idiot. But I'm an idiot who records in a basketball court. So take that, all you lowly, <laughs> lowly poor people who don't record in basketball courts. I have a basketball court in my home. Listen to how reverberant it is. So much. Okay. That's the reverb. What else do you have? You have a couple more settings and pretty important settings, I would say, at that. Look at what you have here. If you, I hope you're looking at the screen. You have polar pattern selection. 99% of people will just be on the cardioid polar pattern. Makes perfect sense. But here is the cardioid polar pattern. Here is the figure eight. That will pick up audio in the front and the rear of the microphone. Most of us will not need that. And then you have Omni picking up audio all the way around the microphone. Again, most of us will not need that. There you go. And fat channel on USB stream outputs. I don't know exactly what that means. I believe that means if you want all of the effect processing on the stream output that you're putting out to your stream because you'd probably pick the Revelator stream output for your Skype calls or your Zoom meetings, and that would allow you to pass through or mute that recording, mute the effects that you're adding. Just a different way to view your presets. And then the volume button on the microphone is a mute button. It also functions as a mute button, and this would allow you to actually mute the microphone or just mute the microphone in your headphones. If you're using this for meetings, leave it set to mic because otherwise you will get confused. For instance, I have it set to monitor. Let me hit the mute button. Now I can't hear myself in my headphones. I may think that I'm muted, but you can still hear me and I'll start farting and, and burping and saying, ah, Cheryl, she's such an idiot. Why did she say that? Ah, Bill? Bill? Are you kidding me? How did this guy get the raise over me? How did he get the promotion? Well, guess what? Everybody on the call just heard you. Leave it on mic. Do yourself a favor or you will <laughs> you'll forget and make a big old mistake. All right. Then you you do have all these other these options for the actual mix for computer playback. You have two loopback options and the reverb. But you also have different mixes for the for the loopback folks as well your main output your headphone mix that's really really overpowered for this and i love that they did that they could have made this a lot simpler they could have made it 
very straightforward with four buttons. I love that they were this thorough with the plugin setup, with the support plugin for this. Now, as far as the microphone, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the, the money that you're paying. As far as the feature set digitally, I think that's really cool, but still probably would not be my first pick. But like I said, this is not a full review. This is not a full review. That's not what this is. It's me walking through all this stuff and making making dumb jokes the whole time and teaching you why I edit and prepare for my main channel. <laughs> because this this is not main channel material. I went on a minute diatribe about Starbucks. Why <laughs> why would that be on a main channel? That's embarrassing. I think that's all I have. I mean, I guess let's go ahead and go through the presets. We have, come on, CB Radio. Hello, CB Radio. This is uh, the CB uh, Niner Five or Eight, and I am calling because I see you at the truck stop. Would you like to be my friend? Meet you in the shower. Um, um, <laughs> this is Screamer. Screamer, if you do meet the guy in the shower, then this may be a suiting plug-in for you. Slap, slap echo. echo. What a what shocker. shocker. It's a slap, slap, slap echo. echo. Then you have space overlord. This is impossible to discern what I am saying. I am trying to enunciate as much as I possibly can, but I do not believe you can understand me. We have AM radio. Hey, welcome to Sports Talk Radio. Sunday, we're talking sports balls. All the balls, all day long. And uh, hey, meet you at the shower. <laughs> what What is it with this, these jokes? This is terrible. Android, hey, I'm a, I'm a robot. I am a robot. Interesting. And then... Let's go back here. You have a bunch of options for... Oh, no, I didn't save my preset with the LA 2A. Oh, well. You have uh, all these empty slots over here to fill in with your own presets. And that wraps up this video. That is all there is about the PreSonus Revelator software that I can tell. Let me point out the cons that I did notice. Picks up a ton of that stuff, a ton of noise. If you don't have it, picks up all that. Get it off the desktop stand, but I noticed the noise when I took it off of the desktop stand picks up lots of breaths but other than that as far as a purely utilitarian microphone for voice calls for all of that very very robust software very very well thought out and full featured pretty cool stuff and that's it. I got nothing else. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Hated it, thumbs down. I will talk to you on another day. Goodbye.